Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show you some features of the Char Bazaar and how to set up a character for auction. Firstly, if you want to auction a character, you'll have to log into the character in game. You then click the store button. You can find the button to set up an auction at the bottom of this window. The first step will show you a listing of all requirements that must be met to allow a character to be auctioned. They're all pretty straightforward, except for maybe a few of them. For example, there's one, your character may only hold allowed items. It isn't clear what these items are exactly, but I believe it's stuff like dead bodies in your depot, etc. If you do have any of these items, they should be listed in the window to let you know. Once you've made sure to pass all validation, you can continue to step two. This will allow you to set the starting price and end date of your auction. The end date and time will appear in your local time zone. Also, you'll be able to select four items of interest to showcase on your character. You then have the ability to select five sales arguments to add to your listing. All of these details can be found in the auction when someone selects your character, but these sales arguments are the things that you want to showcase about your character, such as high skills, certain hard achievements completed, amount of charm points, etc. Finally, once you hit next, you take into the confirmation page. Assuming you agree with all the terms and click confirm, your auction will be started at the next server save. Some key things to note about auctions that will cost you 50 Tibia coins to set up an auction for your character. If you cancel the auction before the next server save, your character will not be listed and you will be refunded your 50 Tibia coins. If you wait until after server save, you are still able to cancel your auction as long as nobody has bid on it yet. In this circumstance, you will not be refunded your 50 Tibia coins. If your character does sell, CIP will take 12% commission from the sale price. For example, if we were to sell a character for 10,000 Tibia coins, CIP would take 1,200 coins, leaving you with 1,800. Something to note is CIP are protecting themselves against fraud, so in some circumstances, the Tibia coins you will receive will be non-transferable for up to 120 days. I've only sold one character so far, and my coins are transferable immediately. Once you have created your auction, you'll no longer be able to log into that character. If you want to cancel the auction, you'll have to log into your account on the website. You can cancel it through your account page. If you want to look for a character to buy, or compare prices of similar characters if you're trying to sell, you can use the Char Bazaar on the website. There are filters on this page, so you can find characters based on server, server type, location, skill ranges, a certain item, and more. You can need a look in the current auctions to get an idea of what's currently for sale or auction history to see past auctions. Currently, there are no search filters on the auction history page, but CIP did say they're planning on adding them in the future. You can also tell if a character has sold by looking at the winning bid. If on the auction history page it lists the minimum bid, that means no one placed a bid on that character. The other sections of the Char Bazaar include My Bids, My Auctions, and My Watched Auctions. These are all straightforward. My bids will show you a listing of your current bids. My auctions will show your current auctions. And my watched auctions are auctions that you chose to follow without bidding on. To bid on a character, you must select your bid limit. This is the max amount that you will pay for a character. For example, if the minimum bid for a character is set at 100 TB coins, and you set a bid limit of 200 TB coins, your current bid will be set to 100. Then, if someone were to come along and bid 199 coins, you would auto-bid at 200 coins. If someone were then to come along and go above your bid limit, they would hold the highest bid unless you went back to your auction and increased your bid limit. When you submit your bid limit, 10% of the coins will be reserved, which will prevent you from accessing them on your character. For example, if your bid limit was set to 1,000 Tibia coins, 100 coins would be reserved and you couldn't access them. Once the auction has ended and you hold the highest bid, you have seven days to pay the selling price. Once this is paid, the character will be on your account in your character list after the next server save. If you do not pay the price after seven days, you will lose the 10% fee that was held for the auction. Once a character has been traded, it will have the word traded in parentheses after the character name on both the website and in game. I haven't spent that much time in the Char Bazaar, but I hope this information can help you. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll try my best to answer. Also, 
Feel free to let me know what you think of the Charizard. Have you bought or sold a character already? What do you think of the price for my level 17 character with 120 club at 2,500 TB coins? It's located on optional PvP Yellow Bad Lie server. Was it too low, too high, or what you expected? If you did enjoy the video, please like and subscribe to help me grow my channel. Hope this video was helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.